Welcome back to the Daily Dean. Is a burrito a cup after you bite it? Excellent question. This is a thought I had after I saw a po an ad for Postmates. Please sponsor me. It'd be really cool to get a sponsor. But regardless, point being, after you take a bite out of a burrito, the contents, the meat, the guacamole, the sour cream, whatever, lettuce, all that stuff is stuck inside of a little container, the tortilla that wraps around it, keeping it with one end open, which basically embodies a lot of the characteristics of a cup. So, can you argue that a burrito is a cup? I totally believe so, and that's definitely what I believe. But this brings up an interesting kind of like, uh, interesting things related to taxonomy and psychology. Going over psychology first, one thing, one concept is a prototype, which may not mean the same thing as it might mean, you know, in, uh, you know, language, uh, you know, for, uh, casual language. Prototype might mean like, oh, here, I'm working on this prototype, or, you know, I'm working on this invention, it's a pre the prototype, right? A prototype in psychology is really just the best representation for any idea that isn't, you know, that immediately requires, like, you know, a cognitive, idea in your mind. So think about a bird. Pro your, pro your idea of a bird, your prototype of a bird, would probably have feathers, could fly, probably has a beak, but there are, you know, ex uh, exceptions to that prototype. A flamingo. A flamingo has feathers, but it can't really fly. A penguin doesn't really have feathers in the same sense you might imagine, like, you know, a pigeon, but, it and it also can't fly, so we still call it birds, and this relates to taxonomy. So taxonomy is a way of classifying animals, and probably cups and burritos and wetness, classic video I went over uh, a while ago, that is limited by the fact animals don't evolve into our taxonomies, our categories. Like imagine, um, imagine a uh, vertebrate evolving into a mammal, right? Just because like we have those names doesn't mean that it intentionally, like you know, s decided. Hey, these are the pathways I can go into. I'm gonna go down this one. Not necessarily. Well, not at all. Right? Those words, invertebrate, vertebrate. You know, uh, mammals are all made up. Pigeons. Penguins, flamingos, none of those species or categories don't exist in the actual real world. And that's the limitations of, you know, taxonomy. Because they all exist in our own categories, our classifications, our sciences that are limited by that fact that these things don't have their own categories naturally. We just assign them names and stuff. So, how does this all relate back to burritos and cups? Well, think about how you picture the peak cup. If I showed you a mug, you would be like, hey, yo, bro, that is definitely a cup. And I would be like, totally agree. This is a cup. But then you try applying the characteristics of this peak prototype cup to other cups. And you're like, oh, okay, so we have mugs that have handles. We have cups that uh, don't have handles. Oh, we have, you know, things with lids, things that don't have lids. And then you have, you know, the, the line's getting blurred between what is a cup and what isn't. So there are, you try applying the definitions that you've gathered from your taxonomy of cups, your classifications of cups and other mugs and whatnot, and say, oh, a burrito must kind of fit in here, but then what about like, here's my pencil bag I have on my desk, is this a cup because it has one entrance but, you know, nothing else? So you have interesting little exceptions that don't necessarily fit into your categories. Because again, limitation, a little, something that I hope you learn or hope you uh you know review or if you didn't learn you learn something new science has limitations and how we categorize things because they're naturally unnatural right you know if you never thought about that cool there you go things don't have their own categories until we assign them categories which goes delves into like what really is real if we don't decide if we decide what has names and what doesn't you know if i no longer had the name dean Am I really still me or is there something separate from my name and what other people tell me that is abstract as and still a part of what makes me me? Because, you know, once again, it also goes into, oh, if a tree falls in the woods, does it really ever fall? Uh, but no one is around to hear it. Does it really ever fall? So this is just interesting philosophical stuff that is already not what I was going to go into. I was just talking about burritos and cups. But regardless... You can't, if you have multiple, if you can have fun little debates like this, right? Like, oh, is a burrito a cup? Is a pencil bag a cup? Is a blank of a cup? Or is a, is a hot dog a sandwich? Is it, is a pizza a bread? Or is a pizza um, blank, 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 blank and stuff? So, um, but you can't really come to a definite conclusion. It's just really fun to talk about. And uh, that's the general takeaway. And I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you uh, have a wonderful week. So, bye-bye. Um,